morning, everyone. This is good morning, everyone. This is Mark Hughes with uh, the Five Hour Trend. We are going to be giving a presentation this morning over the performance strategy, the history, uh, the risk parameters, and just the strategy in general of this automated trading system. Uh, this morning, we have George Michigan, one of the developers of the strategy, speaking. And um, we're going to ask you just to sit back and listen to the presentation at first. And then we will proceed with opening it up to answering your questions. We also have a, uh, at the end of this presentation, some of you might be wanting to get some clarification on the our pivots strategy. That's our daily autom uh, daily manual, <clears throat> daily manually executed signal strategy, but we'll give a short overview of that at the very end of this pr presentation. So again, we have George Michigan. My name is Mark Hughes. We will answer your questions at the end of presentation. And uh, we'll be talking about the five hour trend. So please sit back and listen. Thanks, Marcus. Hello again, everyone. Uh, so as everyone sees my screen, I take it. We are watching the five uh, our trend strategy live. As you can see this morning, we have a long trade that come that came in right at the market open at 6 30 in the morning. So this is the opening bar. We are looking at the five minute bar chart. So as you can see, we are long from 11,474 and a quarter. We're looking, we're looking at the NQ. This is a five minute bar chart. And we are long this morning from this yellow, yellow, yellow line, which is 11,474 and a quarter. And Here's the profit target is way out there. You can see the profit target and the strategy is at uh, 11,833. You can see my mouse, right? 11,833, which is way out there. And the stop loss is way down here, which is 11,299 uh, and a quarter. So you can see we have a distance to stop is 244 points. And this is target is 290 points. So the strategy is not for faint of heart. We do have huge fluctuations in the strategy. Uh, I'm going to walk you back a little bit on the strategy so you could see. Let me squeeze the charts together so you could see how the strategy works. For example, this was a couple of days ago. We took a, a short trade in the strategy. Let me make this. There we go. We took a short trade in the strategy. Again, every time you see a, a, a blue line like this being connected between the entry and the exit, that means it's a profitable trade. Every time you see a, a, a red line between the entry and the exit, that means it's a losing trade, okay? So a blue line is a winning trade, a red line is a losing trade. So here we go, for example, this trade that we got in on the 10th, right? You can see we got in at 11,907, we were short, 11,907. If you can see the last line in that rectangle that I see, strategy, short, one, 11,907. And that was in the morning, this specific time, by the way, I'm in, I'm in LA, so the specific time, 9.05 in the morning, we got in short and we still we stayed, we stayed short through all the way to the, to, to the 12th and through the 13th, the 14th, right? And we got out on the 14th uh, at 11,000, here we go, 3.91. So you're looking around, that's an almost $10,000 trade there, okay? That's a huge profitable trade. But of course, we have a lot of losing trades coming into that trade also. Uh, Jimmy, George, we're having a little buzzing. Move the mic back a little bit. We're having okay. a little buzzing. Okay, thanks. Thanks for telling me. Here you go. Okay. Is this better? Better now, yes. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I was too close to the mic, I guess. All right. So as you can see, we sat in this trade from uh, uh, for, 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 for three trading days, and we end up getting out with a $10,000 profit. But this is, this is the way the strategy works. Once we went short, here's where the stop was way, way out here, and the profit target was here. One thing you realize that the stop will only get better and better and better, will come down as we are short, as the time is passing by, the stop is moving a little bit lower, 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 lower. But the profit target, will move up and down depending what the strategy, what the market is doing, okay? So you can see this, the profit target was here. As the market didn't do much, the profit target started chasing the market, trying to get in, uh, get out. 
And finally, as the market started moving its way, where we are short, the profit target gave it more room to work. Finally, as you can see, the profit target was down here and we missed the profit target literally by a couple of points. Finally, we exited based on the stop. And you can see stop came all the way from there to here. We got out on the stop, again, making 500 points on that trade. Moving a little bit further, you can see and we have a losing trade coming in a couple of days before that, right? We were long at 12,657. As you can see where the profit target was, where the stop was, the opposite was happening here. The profit target moves up and down, but the stop loss can only go up. And finally, we end up coming down and getting stopped out on that trade. And again, we got out at 12,500. So we had a losing trade here. What I'm trying to say is that the strategy has wild swings. We give it a lot of room to work. So the market, uh, when the market's really volatile, we're, we're, we're going, we're swinging from the fences here, okay? We're having a huge profitable trades and the losses are also big. Well, let me walk, walk you through the stats. This is going back beginning of 2020. As you can see, our we had a total of 592 trade signals. Out of that, 54% were profitable. The average winning trade, well, this is based on one E-mini. If you're trading a micro, it's going to be one-tenth of the size. So based on one E-mini, the average winning trade was $3,300, $3,359 to be exact. The average losing trade was, again, a whopping $1,600 or $166 if you're trading a micro. So the combination of the two, of course, average trade, because we were profitable 54% of the time, is $1,078 per trade, combining the winners and losses. Now, here's the, the most important part that I cannot stress enough, and that is a drawdown. The maximum drawdown is about $27,000 per one, per one mini, or $2,700 per one micro. Now that's a big, big number, okay? But that's, you don't get this kind of profits without giving it a lot of room to work. So if I look at the strategist performance on a monthly basis, you can see so far this month, we're down $1,300. Last month, we finished up $18,000. Last month at one point, I think we were down close to $20,000 before turning around and making eight, finishing the month up $18,000. That's just the way this thing works, okay? Uh, looks like we never had a losing month. That does not mean we're not gonna have a losing month, uh, but, but intra-month, we have a lot of fluctuation. And let me show you the performance graph to make my point. Look at this, back in the uh, April 12th, our combined equity, this again, we're starting from zero, combined equity trading one, mini was $636,000, the high, right? Every time you see a green dot, that means it's a new equity high, was 636. It went down to 609 at one point. This is, here you go. Okay, 614,000, 615,000, 609,000, right? Before, that's my $26,000 drawdown, before moving back up again to 640,000. And now we're at 638,000. So yeah, we were high at 633, came down to 609. Now we're at 638. So you can see how fluctuation, what kind of fluctuations the strategy is giving me. So yeah, it's straight up, but we do have a lot of fluctuation that you have to be ready for. If you're not ready for that kind of fluctuation, this strategy is not for you. I got to tell you that from the get go, because a lot of times happens when people always see, you know, everything with 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 uh, rose glasses, uh, rose colored glasses, thinking, oh yeah, this strategy made a lot of money, so I, I can't wait to mortgage my house, start investing in this thing. Uh, I want you to understand, you have a lot of fluctuations here. So push back from Mike. Know, say it again. Push back from Mike a little bit. Thanks. There you go. As long as you know that, you got to be okay. But you have to understand the fluctuations that's happening with this strategy. 
All right, let me let me talk about the details of how the, how the strategy works. You can see this is a number. This is a monthly results. You can see per month number of number of trades we're having. So average of one or two trades a day at most, right? So far this month we have thirteen trades. Last month we had twenty nine trades. The month before we had thirty eight trades and what have you. And usually the stra the strategy will only enter trades during day session. It will never enter a trade after hours. Okay. Today, this morning, we entered a trade at 6.30, my time, Pacific time, or 9.30 in the morning. So as soon as the market opened, we got in long. However, it will stay in the trade if it doesn't get out during the day. It will stay through the, uh, it will stay the, through the night until it gets out of the trade, either hit the profit target or the stop loss, whichever comes in first. So just because we go in in daytime, we do, does not mean we get out at, at a daytime. Any questions about that? Please let me know if you have any questions about, about what I'm talking about here, okay? Entries only during day session. Exit could be anytime. The strategy is completely automated. You don't have to do anything. The strategy will enter the trades for you. Of course, this is only available on TradeStation platform. So you need to have TradeStation platform. We'll set, we'll set it up for you completely. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, once you have trade session, we'll download the strategy for you. You'll see exactly what I'm seeing here. And the strategy will take the trades for you. Uh, and and uh, it will enter the trade, it will exit the trade. All you have to do, make sure that you are always connected. Because of that, we encourage a lot of people to have a server, which will cost you anywhere between $40 and $50, a dedicated server in Chicago. And uh, my colleague is in the room, actually. Is, is, uh, my colleague Chuck is in the room, and he can answer you about that if you have any questions at the end of the presentation. Uh, he will set up the server for you and install TradeStation for you and download the strategy. All you want to make sure that you have all, you're always connected and you, you, you know, you, uh, your TradeStation is always turned on. Let me interject there, George. We, sure. uh, the uh, VPS server that Chuck Bickner will set up uh, does allow you to uh, set up, the, we'll set it up for you. It is $50 a month, but the first two months are free. Okay. Oh, good. Awesome. Uh, a lot of questions I get sometimes is uh, if I go in, like today, for example, the Fed's going to speak in, in, in less than two hours. I don't want to really want to be in this trade when the Fed speaks. I don't know what's going to happen to this market. I don't want to take a huge, <clears throat> excuse me, huge loss. If the market goes the opposite directions, can I override the strategy? The answer is absolutely yes. And Chuck will help you explain that to you. How do you go about overriding the strategy? And you can get out anytime you want or don't take a trade, even though I strongly, strongly discourage you from overriding it. Every single client that we had, and I mean every single client that we have, I'm not exaggerating. We have not, Ms. Dorchin again, push back. Okay. Not, not, uh, uh, not percentage, not 90%, but every single client that we had who started playing with the strategy, trying to get out early or, or, or take a profit when the strategy is making money, say, yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot of profit. I'd rather take it. Every one of them did worse than the strategy have. Okay, every one of them. So uh, please understand that the strategy works best, but it, the strategy is based on probabilities and the strategy and probabilities only work in the long run. So you have to get a room to work. Yes, you will have some losing trades, but you will have huge winning trades. And again, let me go through this one more time. If I show you a trade list, just to give you an idea, okay? Look at these, these uh, by the way, this, this uh, the performance that I'm showing you includes $30 slippage and for commission on slippage per one mini contract, okay? So you can see, look at this last trade, we were up 10,000. Trade before that, we were down 3,000. This is based on mini. Micro is one tenth of that, that. Trade before that, 490 negative, 2,500 positive. So you can see how big the, 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 the wins and losses are, right? 8,000 profit, 4,000 loss. So you are going to have huge, huge numbers, but then you have 13,000 profit, 13,000 profit. That's one trade, 8,000 profit. That's one trade. So we're staying in the trade quite a bit, 
to get those numbers. So you do have a lot of losing trades back to back because situation like this, you're going to be extremely discouraged seeing this kind of uh, drawdown. But then you have huge winners coming back to back, erasing all these losses and more. So again, I'm repeating myself, but I can't stress the fact that you have to, you have to give room for the strategy to work. We have a question. Okay. Question is, if you are subscribed to one mini, will they understand we can access to 10 micro? Does the strategy scale out at different points or is it all in or all out? Good question. The, the answer is all in and all out. That's what the strategy does. The strategy only gets in at one point and gets out at one point. Okay. Like I said, if you want to, if you're trading 10 micros instead of one mini and you want to scale, scale in, scale out, you could do that if you have another strategy or another uh, set of indicators that you're relying on and saying, you know what, as long as the strategy is long, I'm going to be long, but I'm going to look at, you know, whatever indicators I have. I'm looking for some pullbacks before I go in. You know, I, I went in here, the market came down. I went back in again. I'm going to get out of here. And if it comes back down again, I'll go. you could do it if you want to. You can. But the automated portion of the strategy is all in all out. So far in this trade that you're watching right now, we're long here and our profit target is way out there. We are uh, 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 we are 275 points away from the profit target and we are 261 points away from the stop loss. And like I said, the stop loss will only move higher, but the profit target could come down if the market stabilizes or starts moving lower a little bit, the profit target we, we, you know, might start coming down, but the stop loss will never do it. Stop loss will only chase the market and once it moves up and that's it it'll stay up it will never come down okay uh, a question george we do need to clarify that if you're trading multiple contracts that you do have the ability to adjust your size on the platform and then still stay in trade so please go over that that's that's a great point also and uh what marcus is referring to is basically let's say you have the ability to trade 10 micros you could say I want to trade two, and you can do it on the fly on, 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 on within the strategy itself. Okay. There's a way within the strategy. You can see here right now, I have my quantity. I can say increase my quantity. Okay. Uh, now I'm trading one, one contract, right? I can say trade, trade it two. I could, I can make it two contracts, trade it three or trade it four. You can do it on the fly within the strategy. Right now, I'm doing a presentation here. So you can see now automation is four contract. I increase it to four, right? Here you go. I did it to five. My automation is off right now, but the strategy is live. Uh, so you can see I'm changing the setting, the, the size of my strategy. And it will say automation on, by the way, when, when you have it live, or I can decrease it. I'm, now I'm going to do four contracts or three contracts. So you don't have to do that manually. You can do it within the strategy. Okay. All right. A question from Jimmy is, can you explain what triggers your entry selection? That is a very complex set of indicators that we have, uh, Jimmy. In the old days, we used to we we, had, we used to stack up the strat the indicators one by one. We combine all of them. There's a lot of indicators that go into into the strategy. We call it five hour trend is because originally was based on the trend of the five hours, and we have a lot of converging indicators. We we'll look for that, but it actually it's a lot more complex than that. So it's a really uh, it will trade. I'll tell you this, it only trades in the direction of the trend. It's not a counter trend strategy. It's a trending strategy. As the market's moving higher, we're going long. You're not going to see us going short as the market moving higher. And you're not going to see us going short as the market, uh, 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 or you're not going to see us uh, going short when the market's going higher or, or going long when the market's going lower. It's all always direct, trading in the direction of the trend. Uh, uh, George, while we're there, I'd like to, to double down on stop versus catastrophic stop. I get a lot of questions. Why are our stops where they are? And where is this catastrophic stop? Well, this is the stop. The, the catastrophic stop and regular stop is the same. In this strategy, it's the it's the daily target that has a catastrophic stop. This one has only one stop, Marcus. We have one stop right now. It's 11,300 to way down here. And he, he moved up a little bit, you can see, right? It, the stop was down here, it was 299, then it went up by a point to 11,300. So not a big deal, but again, it did go up 
by literally one point. Again, the best example that can be done for me uh, for, to show you is to go back a little bit and look at a couple of trades, as you can see with uh, how the strategy works, right? You can see, I mean, we are in a long trade here, for example, got out, went long again, got out, went long again, stopped out, short, stopped out, right? So you could see how the strategy works. This is, again, I'm going back quite a ways here and I squeeze these numbers quite a bit. So every time you see here, every one of these is one day. So you're looking at a lot of days here moving forward. This is one week at a time. You can see how, look at this, how, how long we stayed in this trade, for example, right? We got in on the 8th of February and we got out uh, on the 9th, one day later, uh, uh, February. So you can see how long we're staying in these trades. So each of these squares is one full day. Okay, here you go. We went short. Let us see here. We got, we got short. We got out here. Then we went short again up there and we got out there, right? Then we went short again and we got stopped out of that little trade, looks like. And we got short again and we got stopped out of that trade also. All right. Let me expand this a little bit more. You can see this now. Uh, one thing I want to explain also, and that is a lot of people say, okay, how do I trust those numbers, right? As you can see, right now, this number is changing as, as, as the market's moving in our way. Now we're done only 8.30. So at one point today, this month, we were done over 10,000 folks because that last trade, we made $10,000. So we were down over 10,000 this month, and now we're just about break even for the month. Like I said, the month before, we were down over 15,000 at one point uh, uh, or more, actually. And we end up finishing up 18,000 for, uh, for the month. Uh, one thing people say, how do I trust those numbers? How do I know these numbers are correct? Two things. One, we started the strategy live from November of 2021. So anything you see beyond November 2021 is really a back test. Okay. Anything you see older than 2021 is a back test. We started offering the strategy live in November 2021. So anything you see from November 2021 and forward is what I call a forward test. I'm running the strategy live, as you see it right now, and these numbers are being generated during a live market setting. So we're, we're not getting changing. distortion. We're not changing. Thanks, Marcus. I'm glad you're keeping me on my toes. So we're not, as I get, as I get excited, I'm moving closer to the mic. So, uh, so as you can see, the, the, uh, uh, we're running strategy live and these are the numbers that are being generated during live market setting, number one. Number two, we have a room that Marcus can invite you. You can go in the room and see exactly what I'm seeing here, right? Well, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see the market live as the market takes a trade, you'll see it. As we get out, you will see it. As we get out and the profit target or stop loss, you will see both, okay? You would see that during a live market setting. Question from Jimmy is, is it a live account? I'm run. No, this is not a live account. This is a this is the strategy. I'm showing you the strategy, Jimmy. That's what I'm trying to explain. The strategy is telling me to go long here. As you can see, the market. You could watch it your, yourself. The market is telling me where to go long, and it's a market order at the opening of of six thirty in the morning in my time. Okay, and I'm telling you where the profit target is. So you want to get out of that trade? Fine. You you don't want to get out? That's fine too. Okay. You will see the market. No. No, no, no. Uh, the, 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 and, the, and the room is a live account. I'm sorry. The room is a live account. Right now, what I'm showing you is a SIM account. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, okay. no, the room is a live account. Okay. You will see, you will see trades being taken during during live live account. Okay, yeah. I just want to make that, you know, that, that point clear. Yes, the room is completely live. We have an account being traded uh, in the room. We're trading a micro contract in the room. But you, like I said, you could trade the mini or you could trade the micro or any combination of it you want. So the key that I'm stressing folks over and over and over again, and that is as long as you understand the drawdown, as long as you understand the volatility of this, of this strategy, then, then I have nothing to worry about. My only worry is when people come in expecting huge returns and when they see a drawdown, they drop out. They go, oh, no, this is crazy. You know, what do I mean I'm down $15,000 in a mini? You know, that's, that's, that's just too powerful. And people send us an email saying, why don't you get out? 
you know, this market was stopping out. Why don't you put the stop here? You can say all you want. The strategy is a strategy and it has an algorithm it's going with. We're not going to play around with that, with that algorithm. Okay. It works. It works beautifully, but it works in the long run. That's the key. So this is a strategy for people who really want to have <clears throat> an alternative trading strategy basically on the side. And this is this is a beautiful strategy for you. All right. Uh, any questions about this strategy before I move on to the uh, daily target? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why don't we open it up? You want to open it up now or you want sure. to wait? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you have any, any questions, anybody, folks. Audio is open, gentlemen. So answer S or N, N ladies. <laughs> answer, ask your questions. Uh, no, audio is not uh, uh, audio is not open. It's, uh, you can do it through the chat. Okay, I apologize. Yeah, yeah. yeah Please type in questions. If I do audio, I have to do it one by one. I can't do all I right. Can't, I'm, uh, again, we, I know I have a couple of uh, uh, individuals in the room who are talking about trading mini contracts. We suggest that even if you're trading mini contracts, that you set that up on a micro basis just to give you the ability to scale in and scale out if you decide that you want to manually override the strategy. We do not recommend you do that. We're just saying that we will teach you how to manually trade uh, with the strategy if you have the ability to understand how to scalp. Uh, again, like I said, for the 5HT, I recommend that you trade the strategy just the way it is. Uh, when it comes to daily target, which I'm going to explain in a second, that you can you could you could definitely trade based on the direction the direction of the strategy a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to move on. If you have if you got a question here, that's correct. That that, that is correct. And Chuck Chuck is Chuck is reiterating what I'm what I'm saying again, and that is what I'm showing you here in the webinar. This is not a live account. But the room, when you come to the room, and Marcus can invite you to the room, the room is a live account. It's trading and doing a live account. And you will see running total in, in the room. Right now here, I have $30 slippage and commission per contract. But the room is actual commission and slippage, whatever it is. Okay? If the slippage is $10, it will be $10. If it's $20, $20. Sometimes it will be positive slippage. Sometimes it will be $40 slippage. So it will be live, whatever it is. All right. Okay, let me move on to my other strategy, our other strategy. Yeah, we talked about that, Chuck. We, with one click, you can increase or decrease. I showed that already, how you increase and decrease your size. All right. Uh, our, our other strategy, which is the daily target strategy. Here it is. This strategy is not automated as of now. Uh, we might be working on it to, to make it automated, but it's not automated right now. But <clears throat> you will get daily text saying what, 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 what trade we're taking, okay? And this strategy only trades once a day. The first trade will be at 10.30 Eastern time or afterwards, depending what, what the market is doing, but it will not trade before 10.30. And it will not take a trade after 2.30 p.m. Today, we went in. You can see right now we are long. Position is long. We got in at, here we go. At, uh, here we go. 11,527.75. Our target, 11,000. You're just starting. You're just starting. All right. Our target is 11,719, way out there. And the stop is... 435.75, which is a little bit lower here. But the strategy will get out either at the target or a stop loss or at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. As soon as the market opens in the afternoon session, the strategy will get out, okay? So yesterday's trade, for example, we were short. We had a small loss. So far, we are long. We have a small profit. We'll see what happened with that trade. If you look at the performance for this strategy, again, this is based on one 
mini contract. You can see so far this month, we had nine trades and we're up just about $2,000 per one mini. Mind you, the strategy is not automated. You will have to take the trades manually. We'll send you a text telling you where to go in. You will get a text four minutes before 1030 telling you that the strategy is going to be long or short and what price. At a 1030, we'll tell you that the strategy went long or went short or it didn't do anything. We'll tell you what the stop is. We'll tell you what the profit target is. And, for those, and if you're trading manually with the pivots, you can trade wherever you have your current account. And this is the strategy that you can see we have right now of five levels. And this is our, uh, you can see here right now, this is my uh, first resistance, second resistance, first stop, sec first support, second support. So you can see right now the market sitting at the first resistance, right? And that resistance change, changes once a day. I'm sorry, twice a day. So you can see right now, here's my resistance and the market is right at the resistance. So it's a, we'll give you those pivot points when we enter, when we send you the text telling you where the first resistance, where the second resistance is. So it's a great idea if you want to trade manually is this is one level that market, if it breaks through it, chances are we're going to hit the second resistance. And if we break through the first support, chances are we're going to hit the second support. Uh, the question is, do we run this strategy on our local trade station as well instead or just getting a text and entry and exit? You will get a text and you will enter the trade on any platform you want. Does not need to be trade station, uh, Deepak. Okay. It could be any platform because you're getting a text from us. By the way, uh, five hour daily trend, you also get a text from us. Even though the strategy is trading live and it's trading automated, you will get a text from us saying, hey, the strategist entered a trade long. <clears throat> Check your computer, make sure that you weren't long. The strategy gets out, you'll get a text from us also saying the strategy got out. Make sure you, you know, look at your computer, make sure you got out, okay? Uh, so going back to the daily target, this is a, like I said, it trades once a day, but it's up to you to scalp in the direction of the trend. And this is a strategy that I encourage that you can trade, without a strategy, but in the direction of the trade always. So if the strategy is long, you can scalp in the direction of the trade of, of, of the strategy all day long. For example, yesterday, the strategy was short and you can see it really came down quite a bit, a couple of times, then finally got out at a small loss on the upside. Okay. Uh, the question is, is it possible to run the strategy locally as well? The strategy is not available for Automated, uh, automated trading as of now, Deepak. We are working on it to make it, to make it available. As of now, it's not. It's only for manual trading. But you're saying that there's a delay in text. Sometimes it works for you. Sometimes it works against you. Or you could do manual trading. Yes, no automated trading, but local trading, uh, manual trading. That's, that's when it's available. Okay. And if I, if I move back and you can see here how the strategy works, one trade a day, right? One trade a day. Small, it went short, got out. Went short, got a profit. Here you go. I right, move this again. There you go, small profit, small loss, small loss, profit, profit. You can see how, how it works, right? So let me run the stats here, and you can see that the numbers are quite different from 5 and Q. Here, we're profitable, again, 48% of the time, not 50% of the time. Average winning trade is $2,300. It's definitely smaller than the 5NQ, uh, uh, 5HT. But the average losing trade is also quite a way smaller. It's $1,300. So the average trade between profit and loss is 442 versus average trade on 5NQ is much higher than that is actually more than double, is $1,000. So you can see the difference between the two strategies, right? So this strategy is not as volatile as, as 5HT, but does not make as much money either. As you can see, uh, our total performance is 270,000 versus here, more than, more than double that, 630,000. So huge difference 
between the two, but this is definitely much more volatile than, than the daily uh, target. Okay. Um, I think I want to reiterate the fact that we have both of these strategies on screen leap and that if you do not have access to that, just please send me an email or call me and I will get you the screen leak, a, a screen leap link. Uh, also, the reason we're showing the strategies live is because we want you to become adjusted or accustomed to what a drawdown looks like. I'm sure a lot of us have heard the phrase, uh, scared money makes no money. And so the point is, you could have walked in 10 days ago, looked at strategy and said, this strategy doesn't work because all you would have seen is red. But many clients who have watched the strategy over a four, six, eight week period have come to the conclusion that they can withstand the drawdown and take advantage of the opportunity. And without having watched the strategy, they would not have known that. So the rationale is, if you don't believe the numbers, then sit there and watch it until you can psychologically overcome what risk looks like and take advantage of the opportunity. And folks, it's very important to have proper money management here, okay? You're absolutely right, Chuck. Uh, it's, it's all about size that you trade. Money management is the most important part that most traders don't even look at, don't pay attention to. They'll always go all in, you know, if they have $10,000 and they, you know, they're trading a mini contract and, and the slightest drawdown, they're out of the game. Uh, I got to tell you, I used to own a brokerage company back in the day, which I sold 2011. And I've seen thousands of traders come and go. A lot of great traders I've seen come and go. Great traders who lost money because they were over leveraged. They were just pushing it too much and, and, and trading aggressively. And the slightest drawdown, they had a great systems, but they got blown out because they did not give enough, have enough money in the account to withstand the drawdowns. That is the most important part. Ray is saying, I watched it for five months before I invested. It works. Uh, thanks, Ray. And that's the key is to have proper money management, folks. Okay. And that's why I say a strategy like this, uh, if you want to trade one mini contract here, you really should have at least 50, 60, $70,000 per contract. And uh, the reason I'm saying that is because when you have a, a strategy that gives you twenty six or $30,000 drawdown, you can't trade it with, with $15,000. Again, translate that to a micro, that means you need to have at least five, $6,000 in the account to trade one micro. If you, and, and it gives you enough money, you don't have to worry about it. It's, you're still making a lot of money. So you don't need to leverage yourself to the tilt, okay? Ray saying I'm up 74%. In my account, thanks, Ray. Uh, that's that's what I'm trying to say. So when you look at the when you look at the strategy here, and you can see the results. Um, if I do if I do it yearly on a yearly basis, here we go. So far this year, the strategy up seven thousand or seventy one hundred dollars per one micro. You know, if you have if you started with five thousand dollars, that's that's one hundred twenty percent return on your money. Why do I need to be more aggressive than that? There is no reason to, right? So the key is have enough money in the account and let the drawdowns work. It's okay. If I have 5,000 and I'm down 2,000, I can live with it. But if I have 3,000, I'm down 2,000, I'm panicking. And that's what happens to a lot of traders is they, especially really what, uh, what differentiates a professional trader from an amateur trader is nothing but money management. That's all it is. If I really have to explain the difference between the two, that's all it is, is money management. We have the exact same tools as they do. And matter of fact, we have advantage over the professional traders is because we could do, when we're trading for, for only you know, one day in, one day out, the, the huge accounts can't do that, but we can. And we have an advantage over them, but their advantage is they know how to size the trade and amateur trader doesn't. That's really the important part. But for... Okay. But for reference, I, I just received an email yesterday from one of our clients that said over the last 90 days, he's moved a, a $12,000 account to 25,000. 
over the last 90 day frame. Uh, I believe he's trading two micro. Now that came to me unsolicited, but that just gives you some reference point as to what, how clients are performing. Uh, again, uh, when we set the strategy up, we actually started the strategy for you to trade it on a quarterly basis. That is our preference. You trade it for a quarter because we know that on any given month, we could have drawdown and be in the red. Uh, we did open it up for individuals to start on a month to month basis, but our preference is you set it up for a quarter. And if you do it for a quarter, we will, we will give some discounting. Currently right now, one micro is $197 or $195 per micro for a month. If you decide to do that on a quarterly basis, we will we'll discount that approximately 15, 18% somewhere in there if you did it on a quarterly. Uh, larger clients, many clients who are trading at least 10 micros, we actually discounted that 195 by 50%. We know that you're committed. You're playing with, you know, good funds, and you're trading probably multiple mini contracts. So we're going to give you that discount on the front end uh, on a month-to-month -month basis because we know you're trading size. But again, we feel you should be in this strategy for at least three months. If you can't make that commitment, maybe this isn't for you. But for some of you, I understand you're still tentative. So we'll let you start off with uh, on a monthly, and then. And interesting to note, though, George, is that most of the clients that have started on a monthly have actually added on to their position and then went into a quarterly payment. That makes sense, yes. Uh, one more thing. There's a question here from, uh, from Jimmy saying that micros have bigger commissions and may not be the same. Yes, true. Uh, sometimes they, they do better than, than, than the mini and sometimes the mini will do better than the micro. So it's not going to be exactly the same. But when you look at the strategy that's giving you average trade is $1,000 per micro. It's over $100 per micro. So it costs you a dollar more. You think it's going to make a huge difference? Okay. So it's, we're not looking at, we're not talking about, about cents here. We're talking about average trade per micro here is $100. Average profitable trade for micro is $336. Average loss is $166. So you pay a dollar more for commission or 50 cents for a slippage, it's not going to make a difference. All right. So it may not be exactly what I'm showing you here. It's going to be a little bit more, a little bit less, give or take, but it's going to be about the same. Okay. And like I said, people who are trading in micros could, could attest to that. Joseph is saying, Joseph and, and, and Mario Feldman, they're saying they're trading three micros instead of two, uh, uh, Marcus. Okay. Now, again, the most important part here is I'm not telling you to sign up to trade anything. All I want you to do is sign up to look at the strategy and contact Marcus to look at the strategy and uh, during live market hours. That's the only thing I'm, I'm asking you to do here. I'm not asking you to sign up for to trade anything. Okay, because contact Marcus and, and here's his number. I mean, uh, okay, yeah, Marcus is putting it down here. Uh, 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 and, and Marcus will give you the uh, login information to our live room where you can see both strategies during live market hours trading a live account. And that's the best way you could do. All right. Any other questions? Do I leave anything out, Chuck or uh, Marcus? Anybody has any other questions? Again, don't forget today we have the Fed speaking in an hour and 15 minutes and see what happens to this market. But in the long run, it doesn't matter to me, right? It could go straight down, it could go straight up, I could care less. Because all I know in the long run, the strategy is a winner and that's all I care about. Look at the long-term results and that's all we care about. Because trading systematically is about probabilities. And probabilities only work in the long run. That's all it is. It's based on probabilities. Okay? So uh, we're not here to predict what the market's going to do. I don't really care what the market's going to do. I'm here to react to the market. Right now we are long. Market comes down to my stop. We're going to get out. Market moves up to the profit target. We're going to get out. We are reacting to the market. We're not predicting what the market's going to do. Just because I'm long, I'm not predicting I'm, I'm going to be right. I'm right only 50% of the time, right? But my, when I'm right, 
I'm making twice as much money as I'm wrong. So that's all I'm, that's what I'm betting on, right? My average win is double of my average loss and I'm right 50% of the time. That's it. It's simple as that. Nothing more complicated than that. And I'm not here to, everybody says that because why don't you get out? Look at this market's coming down. Come on, you, 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 know, you should put a stop and get out and take your profit. No, I'm not. Because this is based on long-term results. All right. Okay. I am repeating myself, but here you go. Thank you, George. Okay. Any other questions, folks, before we call the day? If not, have a wonderful day. And uh, stay tight here before the Fed speaks an hour and 15 minutes. Absolutely. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.